All right, everybody, I'm really excited to highlight Schoology's new assignment feature for you. Um, we've been waiting years for them to update the new um, or the interface for the document viewer when you're looking at assignments, and Schoology has finally um, done that and answered all of our requests. So I'm just going to point a couple of new things out to you. So when setting up your assignment, um, nothing looks different for you or the students. You'll still be able to set up the assignment the same, but it's once students have turned in their submissions and you have the view of all of their submissions over on the right, um, that's when it looks different. So when you click on a student, it will open up the document viewer for you. And we've got a few things here that are different. So first and foremost, it auto saves. So you no longer have to worry about scrolling to the bottom um, and not forgetting to hit save after you've add all, added all of your annotations. So auto saving is huge. My next favorite feature is the pen feature. If you remember before, it was a bear because Every, anytime you would lift up your pen, for instance, like to cross a T, you would have to go back to the pen feature and re-enable it or else it would turn off. Now the pen T feature will stay on until you turn it off. So you can actually scroll through and write on, annotate, give feedback as much as you want. Also, if you select your writing with the pen tool and select style, you can change the color, the width, so on and so forth. Um, it's also really nice because anytime you add anything as an annotation, there's this little uh, sticky or kind of a notification over to the side to let the students know, hey, your teacher added some feedback for you at this point in the document. So that is really nice. Love the pen feature. And it also looks this way, this interface, on a mobile device. So probably not going to use a cell phone, but um, if you have an iPad or any kind of Android tablet, you can just use a stylus and actually scroll and go through and grade and write on these papers the same way you would if they were hard copies with uh, paper and pencil. So super, super nice and convenient to go through and grade really quickly. Um, math teachers, have your students uh, write their math problems or, or do their equations on pen and paper. I know a lot of math teachers still find that really valuable for students. And then you can actually just have them use their laptop or phones, tablets, Chromebooks to take an image of that paper, upload it, turn it in, and then you can use the pen tool to go and give feedback and write on it. So super handy. The next feature that I like a lot is the improvements to the sticky note feature. So before they used to be this tiny little pale yellow uh, sticky note and the student would have to see it and then click on it to expand to see the comment. But now it's a bigger icon, it's brighter, and we also have our little revision notes over to the side. So when you do type feedback to add, your students are going to see it out to the side so they will definitely not miss the sticky note. Um, the sticky notes make it really great to target specific places to give feedback within the document, especially if you don't have some sort of mobile device or tablet that you can use the pen and the draw feature really easily to go through and, and give quick edits. So they look, look pretty similar to um, Google Docs comments. Um, one way that they that the Schoology sticky notes differ from Google Docs comments is it will not highlight the text that you're referring to with your comment. However, there is this handy highlight text tool. So you could still go through the document and highlight the parts of the text that you're referring to with your sticky note. And just like our pen feature, if you click style, you can change the color of the background of the highlight and even color code the types of feedback that you're giving to students. You can also go full screen or zoom in and out. You can print the document or download the document. And we can even search for words within the document. So I searched for beach, and there it's showing me that there's the word beach. So pretty cool new tools. As always, you can give overall feedback over to the right. If you're on the enterprise or the paid version of Schoology, you can give audio feedback to the students, which is excellent. And you'll still enter your grade up at the top. And should you use a rubric, you would still be able to do that and click to go through and grade really quickly 
and see your score change automatically as you click through the rubric and save it. So those are some of the top level improvements to the document viewer within assignments. Uh, if you have used the old document viewer in assignments, um, you will appreciate what a drastic improvement this is um, for grading and giving feedback to students. So hopefully this helps you speed some things up and give online feedback to students.